Alveolar bone grafting for children with a cleft lip and or palate. Some children are born with a cleft lip and or a cleft palate. After patients have had their lip and or palate surgically closed, a defect remains in the upper jawbone and surrounding gum. This defect is called an alveolar cleft. It can be present on one or both sides of the jaw. An operation can be performed to restore the bone defect. This surgical procedure is timed based on the development of the teeth close to the bone defect. Exact timing is decided by the orthodontist and surgeon. First, an incision is made in the upper gum. Then the upper gum is raised upwards. The opening to the nose is closed using surgical threads called sutures. Next, a piece of bone called a bone graft is needed. This bone graft is sometimes taken from the lower jaw. An incision is made from within the mouth. The piece of bone is removed. It is then cut into smaller pieces using bone scissors. A second option is for the bone graft to be taken from the iliac crest. The iliac crest is the protruding part of the hip bone. An incision is made in the skin. Small pieces of bone are taken from the iliac crest. In both cases, the pieces of bone collected are placed in the alveolar cleft below the gum ridge. The gum is placed back down and fixed above the teeth using sutures. With the bone graft in place, the patient has a continuous upper jaw. Within approximately one year, the bone graft fuses with the surrounding jawbone. This helps facilitate the eruption and alignment of permanent teeth. Time spent in hospital after surgery may vary depending on local protocol and the patient's personal situation. Solid foods must be temporarily avoided whilst the wound heals. In most cases, orthodontic treatment can recommence after a couple of months.